Hello. Good day to all my students. Today we are here to continue on the chapter carbon compounds where teacher will be discussing part 6. The main topic of our discussion today will be on comparing alkane and alkenes and I will also cover on homologous series. Now let's start. Now when we look at physical properties of alkane and alkenes, Alkane and alkenes are covalent compounds. So you can say that alkane and alkenes, so when we are discussing regarding the physical properties, students must bear in mind that alkanes and alkenes are covalent compounds. Okay, so that's the first thing that must come to your mind, covalent compounds. So, when we are discussing physical properties, covalent compounds play a huge role. For instance, covalent compounds, namely alkene and alkene, do not dissolve in water but dissolve in organic compound. Secondly, alkene and alkene cannot conduct electricity in any state. They have a low melting and boiling point. But the melting and boiling point will gradually increase. For instance, from ethane to decane. From ethene to decane. The melting and boiling point will gradually increase. Thanks to the increase of carbon atoms. When amount of carbon atom increases, molecular, molecule becomes big. When molecules become big, we can say that the intermolecular force of attraction, Van der Waals force of attraction, increases. So even though alkane and alkene technically they have low melting and boiling point, gradually increases towards going down the series. Now, so that is you need to know what you need to know regarding physical properties. Now let's go to chemical properties. This is where both alkane and alkene have very much difference. So first thing that I would like to highlight here is alkane is saturated hydrocarbon and alkene is unsaturated hydrocarbon. Alkane has single covalent bond, bond and alkene has double carbon, carbon covalent bond. Thus, because of the unsaturated and double carbon, carbon covalent bond, we can say that alkene is less reactive. And alkene is more reactive. Okay, so alkene is more reactive compared to alkane. And another step you can say is to prove this, alkane only goes through reaction of combustion and substitution. And alkene goes through combustion polymerization and addition reaction addition reaction so we have if you watch teachers part 5 video you will know that five types of addition reaction has been discussed. Namely, hydrogenation, halogenation, hydrogen halide, hydrogen halide, hydration, addition of water, and also oxidation. 
So these are the five type of addition reaction that has been discussed in alkene. So in fact, our part five video was very long and dense. A lot of information thanks to discussion of chemical properties of alkene. So students must understand that. Why? Alkene is more reactive compared to alkene. Now let's go to homologous series. I have introduced to you about homologous series when discussing about alkane. But here we are going to discuss thoroughly what is meant by homologous series. Now homologous series is what we call by series of organic compounds. So it is like a family. For instance, alkene is one homologous series. Alkane is one homologous series. So, teacher will discuss more on what students already know, which is alkane and alkene. Now, alkane and alkene are one are different homologous series. So, alkane homologous series, alkene another homologous series. The reason why is because alkane has the functional group of C. H. Alkene has the functional group of double carbon bond. Please remember, functional group is the most reactive part of any molecule. So, when you react alkene with any chemicals, the double bond of carbon-carbon double bond will react first. So that is what we mean by functional group. Okay. Now, alcohol. Alcohol. OH is the functional group, we call it hydroxyl, carboxylic acid, COOH, and for ester, will be RCOOR prospine. Now, what happens is, don't worry, I don't want students to worry much on alcohol, carboxylic acid, and ester. Why? This will be discussed. This alcohol, carboxylic acid and ester will be discussed separately in our next upcoming part, uh, different parts of the video. Okay, now let's go to how each homologous series member differ. So each homologous series here, I would like to give you example of our alkane and alkene or maybe alcohol. Now here, let's look at c 3 H6 versus C4H8. So this is propene versus butene. So when you minus propene versus butene, you will get CH2. So this is what we ban by a member of the same homologous series will differ with each member in CH2 form which is technically RMM14. Another example, let's give, I, let me give you another example. C3H7OH, this is alcohol, versus C4H9OH. So when you minus this molecule with this molecule, you will be surprised to end up with this again. So this is what we call by homologous series. So alcohol is one homologous series. So you can conclude that alcohol is one homologous series where each member differs from each other. Even if you, if students, you uh, compare it, you compare it with another member which is C2H4. For instance, if I compare this with C2H4 eating and I compare minus this and this you will end up with CH2 so that is the meaning so that means alkene is one homologous series where C2H4 differs from C3H6 in CH2 manner C3H6 propane differs from C4H8 in CH2 manner RMM 14. So that is the reason why they are called homologous series. Now let's go to say what is meant by same chemical properties. So we can say that if teachers say ET reacts 
with bromine. Students can come into conclusion that heptene also reacts with bromine. No need to do chemical, chemical experiment. You can come into the conclusion. Why? Because we know that same homologous series go through same chemical properties. If teachers say alcohol, for instance, alcohol, for instance, uh, ethanol, goes through combustion, students can come into conclusion that propanol also goes through combustion. Very easy. Same chemical properties. Now, let's go to same method of preparation. What we meant here is if teachers say ethene can prepare by dehydration of ethanol. For instance, teacher telling ethene can be prepared by dehydration of ethanol. Students can come into conclusion that butene can be prepared through dehydration of butanol. Teacher repeat. If teachers say ethene can be prepared using dehydration of ethanol, students can come into the conclusion that butene, same homologous series, is just that the amount of carbon differs. Same homologous series, another member of alkene, which is butene, can be prepared using the same method, dehydration of, but this time, butanol. Can you understand this? Now, let's go to another example. Propene can change into propane using hydrogenation. Okay, so your further information, hydrogenation has been discussed in our part 5 video. So, students can have a look at that. Now, Propene, sorry, propene, if teachers say propene can be, can be converted into propane using hydrogenation, any students can come into conclusion that maybe octene, octene, same homologous series member, octene can change into octane. Using hydrogenation, same method of preparation, hydrogenation. So, this is what we call by homologous series, eh? the same characteristics. So, I hope students can understand what teacher have explained regarding comparison of alkane and alkene. And also homologous series, what is meant by homologous series and how they are connected to each other. Till then... We will meet in our teacher's next video. Till then, take care. Thank you for watching.